Welcome back to another Final Table Commentary. If at any point in time you find yourself not caring for the commentary, there will be a link in the description down below to the video and BCP Poker Replay's YouTube account, so you can go check out the action in some peace and silence. With that being said, let's get into the action. We've got a fast one here in the 530 Turbo Series from 2020. We got pads on the final table. JD, TJ Poker, Need Beat, Marco Vitas, Oguri, and Fanon. Did I say GM Volter? We got Volter on the final table. They're throwing out the good lucks. JDTJ starting things off with the Jack and the 10. Goes for a 3x sizing from the small blind. And this one will get through pre. Oguri with the ace and the jack will raise from under the gun. King Jack for need beat. He thinks about it, but he finds the fold. Marco Vitas with a pair of fives in the big blind. Could come along to the flop here. Hard to fold the pocket pair pre-flop. Ace, queen, three flop. No five for Marco Vitas, but he has the backdoor straight draw, backdoor club draw. Ace high board facing about a third pot size bet. We'll see if Marco Vitas comes along. Nope, they just fold. The lines go up. What do we got going on? JD with the jack and the nine. Does go for the open off the big stack. Need beat with an ace on the button. Goes in the tank. Surely isn't going to call. Thinks about a three better fold and finds the fold. Marco Vitas with king 10 suited in the small blind place. Call. Oguri in the big with king 8. Also comes along to the flop. 6-5-3. Not much doing for anybody here. 4 on the turn will give Oguri a straight draw to the 7. 7 would also put a straight on the board. Same with a deuce. Do -ba -da -do. King 8 will lead out and take it down. Good stuff for Oguri to buy that pot. Pads with a pair of 4s. Might just let this one go. That he does. Folds around with Marco Vitas on the button with 9-10. He just finds the fold as well. Oguri folds the 9-7. Fannin gets a walk with King-10 suited. 8-8 eight, eight for JD. Should see an open off the big stack. Marco Vitas with Queen-10 suited. Could 3-bet. Doesn't want to play call, so he just finds the fold. Fannin in the small blind calls with ace three. GM Volter with 10-10 will rip it all in. JD in a weird spot here. Does find the all in. Fannin folds any eight stealer. No eights. GM Volter gets the full double. Tens hold. Do, 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 do. Oguri with an ace in the cutoff. We'll see if he opens it up or just finds the fold. Now nah, he goes for the open. Pads in the big blind. Flop and bottom pair. No backdoor flush draw. No backdoor straight draw. We'll see if he just finds the fold. Hopefully so. He's completely dominated here. Pads plays call for one. Queen on the turn. 2.2 mil in the middle. Oguri checks back the turn. And checks down the river. Scoops the pot. Almost 10 million chips now for Oguri. Fannin with queen and a king of the same suit. Very strong holding. Volter calls with king jack. JD in the big blind with queen 10 also comes along. King 3 deuce flop. 2 diamonds for Fannin. They start things off with a half pot size bet. Volter calls. Needs a jack and only a jack. Another half pot size bet from Fannin. Sizing up the river jam. Falter in a very tough spot here with top pair with a fair kicker. Ace four completes the straight on the turn. Falter just sticks it all in. Bad timing. No jack for him. Fannin makes the flush. And gets the bounty. Can't blame Falter there. Again, he's got top pair with a fair kicker. Could be ahead on the turn there. Facing the bet on the flop and the turn. When the turn doesn't bring in the flush. A few straights complete. But looks like a pretty big brick with the five. Falter says King Jack is good enough for me. And he's out of here. 
We'll move along with what, six players now. Oguri with queen nine under the gun will raise it up. Marco Vidas with an ace in the big blind. We'll see if he goes into chip preservation mode. Nah, he is going to play call. Nine, five, four flop. Oguri with top pair bets about a quarter. Maybe a third. Can't math right now. Ten of clubs on the turn. All good news for Oguri. Marco Vitas checks over the ace five, of course. Oguri with a weird decision. Could still try to get some value from some weaker pairs. There's still plenty of flush, or er, there's a flush draw out there, straight draws out there. Hard to check back with the queen nine, with the flush draw. Oguri bets 1.1 mil, right around half pot. Marco Vitas deep in the tank, does find the fold and preserves his stack. Good stuff for him. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Unfortunately, Pads hasn't had any holdings. Has to fold the 5-2. JD with King-10 will open up into Oguri's big blind with Ace-10. Just waiting for him. Ripping it all in. Going bounty hunting. JD does find the fold. Good stuff. Moves along with the 12 bigs. Need beat with an ace. Finds the fold. Giving Marco Vitas a chance to open up the king king. Actually just goes for the limp. Interesting stuff. And look at this. 8-9 flops a straight. Marco Vitas still has some outs to the 9 or ace. Fan and check jams. King's call. King on the turn. Boat outs. But they don't get there. Fan and straight holds up. That's a huge pot going their way, up to 26 million chips now. Mm -mm -mm. Oguri with King-10 will raise the button and take it down pre-flop. Ace-Jack for need beat. Rips it all in, Fannin's got queens, he quickly gets it all in, he's just got to sweat the aces. Any ace, nope, 10 million chips going Fannin's way, and another bounty. Ace King suited for pads, rips it all in for about 13 blinds. Fannin with 8 jack, calls it off. Has the straight outs, has the flush outs, and the flush completes on the river. Fannin getting another bounty, 120 big blinds, 50 left left to collect. Hoo wee wee wa, Fannin just running over the table, getting a walk. Mm, I mean he's running hot. You know, your opponent gets the ace drag. It was about 16 big blind jam. Fannin wakes up with the queen, queen. The queen's hold. Then pads rips in the ace king suited. Fannin calls it off. With jack eight suited. Makes his flush. Would have about something like 30 or sorry, 40% or so. Once he calls it off there. Just running good. Ace 3 will check down this pot and Ace 7 will scoop it for Fannin. Queens for JD. Plays all in. Fannin with 4 3 calls it off. Queen on the flop. No club outs for Fannin. He's just dead on the flop. And just like that, JD gets the double. And he's going to get it all in as a flip. Needs to hit something. He does find the king on the turn. JD now up to 30 blinds. Pretty well tied with Oguri, but look at this. Ace Jack suited versus Ace Queen. Blind on blind. This gets all in, surely. Oguri jams. Quick call from the Ace Jack. Oh, they, we got chop outs. Jack on the river. JD gets super lucky there. And just like that, Oguri's down to one blind. He sticks it all in. I guess he's got two. King 10 versus Queen 9. King 10 flops the boat. No outs for JD. And Oguri survives with 5 blinds. Rips in 10 jack. JD folds the 10-6. Hoo wee wee wa. <clears throat> Ace 10 for JD. Goes for the min open. Fannin calls with jack 10. Flops 3 in a row. 2 over cards to the board as well. Queen on the turn. Good news for Fannin. He's going to lead out and bet. Or sorry. He's going to lead out and take down the pot. Aguri with jack 9 rips it all in. Ace jack quickly calls. Ace deuce calls as well. King 10 7 flop. 
goes check check king on the turn JD checks again five on the river and just like that Vannon gets another bounty and the more importantly the chips mm -hmm. so we're heads up with about a two to one chip lead JD still in the game has 50 blinds plenty of wiggle room Phantom with the 410, going to try to buy this pot pre, and it works out for him, that's good news. 7-3, Phantom will just fold. 5-7 for JD, going to go for the limp in again. Phantom says deal. <laughs> no question mark, just, just deal the cards, right? We're going to chop this up. You can't make a deal, this is a bounty tournament. We already got this thing chopped. It's 35k for first, 35k for second. We're just playing for bounties now. 5-7 calls the check raise. Queen on the turn. 5-7 comes along again looking for a 4 or an 8. Instead we get runner in our hearts. Queen Jack. JD with the, with the 7 high gets called down by third pair. Good news for Fannin. Back up to 120 blinds, this time with 41 million chips. Continuing the aggression with the 7-4, facing the limp. Fannin is just looking to be a bully here. JD with Jack-10 will limp it in. Fannin checks back the deuce-3. Queen-4-4 four, four, flop. Goes check-check, Jack on the turn. Goes check-check. King on the river. Fannin stabs. JD quickly calls with the pair. Queen 10 versus Ace Jack. Ace Jack might go for the raise here. Non all in. Queen 10 finds the fold. Do -do -do -do. Ooh, a couple 8 6 suited. Limp pot. Fannin says probably not. Let's raise this up. JD does call. We both flop. Backdoor flush draw with a straight draw to the 7. Bet in a call. Fannin picks up the flush draw on the turn here. He can continue the story. Bets 2 million chips. And JD has to fold the same hand. Oh no, and then he gets aces and walked. Oh no. Queen 10 suited goes for the raise. Ace 5 jams. Queen 10 can call it off here potentially. That it does. Ace high board. That's good news. Diamond on the turn. Oh, Fannin with the flush draw. Doesn't get there. JD with the full double up, 27 blinds, 29 now. 6-8 going for the raise, Fannin with King King goes for the 3 bet. Quick fold from JD. Jack 9 limping in, Jack 10 goes for the raise. 2 more blinds to call, JD does call. Queen Jack 5 flop, bad news for JD. Deuce on the turn. Another half pot size bet from Fannin. Hard to fold Jack 9 here. Fannin rips it, or sorry, JD rips it in. And if Fannin can call it off here, he just has to sweat a 9 for the pot. Oh no, he folds. Huge pot going JD's way. That could have been the freaking tournament. It could have been over. Interesting play with the Jack 9. I wonder what we're doing there. Are we turning it into a bluff? We are getting a better hand to fold, so it feels like a bluff, but it doesn't seem like the situation where you'd be bluffing. In the end, it works out for him. JD with a straight draw to the 4. Bet's about half pot, or a big blind. Fannin calls with bottom pair. 5-8 is the run out, so no help for JD. Still has the straight blocker. Just checks it back. Fannin takes a little pot. 5 6 limps it in. Fannin raises the four blinds with the pocket pair. And the raise gets through. 8 10 for Fannin. A little raise. Flop top pair. Backdoor flush draw. JD with an overcard backdoor draws. Just lets it go. I guess just the backdoor flush draw for him. 6-5 takes a stab on the ace-king-queen flop. Queen-7 calls. 10 on the turn, and JD bombs away, and the bet gets through. Good news for JD. He's done a good job of battling back. Has about 40 blinds now. 2-1 to one chip advantage for Fannin. 
raising with the ace. We get a 10 8 2 flop. JD with the king high, just check folds. Mm -hmm. 9 deuce raising, ja or sorry, 9 7 calling. Oh, look at this bottom pair goes for the check raise on the queen 10 7 flop. Two clubs out there. Queen 8 facing the raise goes for the 3 bet and getting it through pre. Good news is fan and add the queen 10. Do, 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 do. Ooh, interesting flop. Jack 8, 7, 2 diamonds for JD. Middle pair on the straight draw to the 9 for Fan, and he calls. Still has the best of it on the turn here, except with the queen on the river. Do, ba, do, 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 ba, do, do. All in from JD with the flush, and that bet gets through. JD almost tying things up. No, it looks like he did. Do, 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 do. 8, 6 with the straight draw. Checks it back. Fannin with what was top pair. Sees a pretty shitty card as Jack-10 makes a straight. 8-6 makes a pair on the river so I can just check it back. And JD gets another walk with aces. Oh no. <clears throat> King-4 suited. On the button goes for the raise. Fannin folds the queen-deuce. Ace-4. Fannin opens up. King-7 defends the big. 9-6-4 flop. Bottom pair for Fannin goes for about a half pot size bet. The ki with the king of spades, JT calls, picks up a spade on the turn, facing another half pot size bet, and he also has a straight draw to the 8. It all bricks on him. 8 million chips in the middle. Checks it over. Fannin bets 3.5. If JD can find a bluff, that would be one hell of a play, but he just finds the check fold. Unimproved. Moves along, preserving the 40 blind stack. <clears throat> Jack 3 suited for Fannin. Goes for the open. Ace 9 for JD. Does play 3 bet. And the raise gets through. 10 9 2 flop. Fannin with a straight draw to the 8. Does come along. We see a Jack on the turn. Turn goes check, check, four on the river. Fannin bets about half pot. JD sitting here with King High and some straight blockers. Finds the fold. Huge, or not a huge one, but a bit, uh, nice one from Fannin to steal away. Uh-oh, King King versus top pair with a fair kicker. Fannin bets, facing the check raise. We get a fair turn. Eight of spades. JD continues with another bet. 3.5 million chips. We're going to get this all in. He needs a queen or jack. Nope, just like that. King's hold. Fannin gets the W. Nicely done. Getting the king and the king. <laughs> Running pretty damn good if we're being honest. <clears throat> um, yeah, nothing really you can say about that. Eh? Just Fannin playing a good game. Eventually, need beat rips in the ace jack. And Fannin has queens. The big stack gets bigger. Then pads with ace king. Rips it all in. Fannin calls it off here. It's only about 11 more blinds. Flops very well. Does make the straight. Or sorry, the flush. Gets another bounty. And then just like that, we eventually battle it on out. Fannin gets the W at the Kings. Wow. What a showing from Fannin. Running good. Playing good. It's a deadly combination. So I suppose that's the end of the show. So if you made it all the way through, thanks for checking out this uh, video. Uh, hopefully we'll see you in another Turbo Series event. Adios, amigos.